Hey there, Postal here. So today we're going to look at the final uh, female pilot that's available in the bundle. Uh, this is Mary Loveheart. Hey, I can say her last name properly, because America. Um, <laughs> so she is trained for the P-47B, but as we're going to see here, she can actually go in quite a few different planes. Let's take a look. So I've kept Mary in my P-47B. Uh, it's actually forced me to really enjoy this plane and learn better ways to play it, and which has translated into me enjoying the P-47N and the XP-72 at tier seven and tier eight. So thank you, Mary. Um, I'll explain why I haven't changed her. Like I have Charlotte and Marina in just a second here. So let's look at in more detail at her skill set. So she gets uh, Eagle's Wings which gives you additional uh, engine thrust and helps your boost duration by 10%, which is significant. It takes place of Engine Guru 1. Uh, her special skill set gives Valkyrie's Wrath. This gives you double damage from your bombs and rockets under a specific circumstance. You have to be at a, at a dive, and you have to be of more than 45 degrees, boop, and you have to be reaching um, maximum dive speed. So typically that means, you know, getting in the yellow as far as your airspeed is concerned, but it could be different for different planes. So you'd want to, you want to monitor that. So having a skill set that does double damage to the, you know, with your bombs and rockets means that putting her in a fighter or basically anything that doesn't do ground damage would kind of be a waste of three skill points. Might as well not do that, right? I'm not going to be putting her in an F-86. Um, because I'm not going to be putting her in fighters and I'm going to be leveraging the Valkyrie's Wrath, my first two points I put on here were for Demolition Expert, which helps the bombs and rockets um, damage and blast radius by an additional 10%. So that's obviously going to be cumulative with the Valkyrie's Wrath. And again, we're just going to be doing as much ground damage as possible. Uh, last but not least, I put Aerodynamics Expert on here, and that's because my thought process is whatever plane I'm putting her in, is going to be either boat boosting speed or maneuverability. Probably speed, considering most of the planes that have bombs and rockets tend to leverage the, the speed more than maneuverability. But either way, um, the aerodynamics expert is going to help that. And it could conceivably be cumulative with the Eagle's Wings, considering uh, your boost duration and your engine thrust are improved with Eagle's Wings. And so the equipment that helps the speed is going to be boosted by aerodynamics expert and uh, Eagle's Wings. So, pretty brief description there. Uh, P-47, you know, fits the bill. You've got bombs and rockets. There are better planes out there for the Americans that, um, you know, better with quotes around it, that can do bombs and rockets to a greater extent and really take advantage of that speed. And there's no reason why, if you're grinding a specific line, that you can't move her down that line. I've kept her in this, but... The argument could be made, well, let's let's take a quick touch point here. There's American bombers, right? You're not going to put her in an American bomber. Maybe the A-26B, but the thing with the, with the um, Valkyrie's Wrath is it only takes effect when you're at a steep angle dive. The B-17s, B-32, B-29 are not very effective in a steep dive like that. Typically, you're only diving to try to get away from people. Yeah, I've seen people do it. Um, that's not how they're most effective, though. You lose a lot of speed, you lose a lot of, uh, you gain speed, but then you've got to, you just end up being in an awkward position. You want to keep that speed and kind of do like a shallow dive when you're in the American bombers, right? Again, I've seen people do the deep dive. I also killed a lot of them doing deep dives because they're a much easier target to take out when they're in a deep dive. So, uh, Mary's not going to be nearly as effective in those types of planes. Sure, an argument could be made that she's effective, but she's going to be a lot more effective in a plane that can get good airspeed and go in a dive and not feel like it's going to crash into the ground. So that's going to leave us with the multi-rolls and the heavy fighters. And there's a ton 
that fit the bill for the Americans. Um, I mean, let, we could just look at it tier by tier, right? So the F-84 and the F-7U are going to be excellent options for Mary if you want to put her in a tier 10 plane. XF-90, not so much. You go into deep dive in an XF-90 and you'll probably never pull out. On top of that, you've only got two bombs in the XF-90. Not really taking full advantage. F-84F, though, you've got a plethora. F-7U, you've got four bombs and they reload really quickly. Again, very, very uh, good option to put her in one of those two planes. As far as tier 9s are concerned, I could see an argument being made for the F-2H. I don't think it's her best fit, but she, you do have a lot of air to ground rockets. And the F-2H is an excellent airframe. She would do well in it. F-84B is, you know, just the down-tiered version of an F-84F, so it's going to do great. F-94D, not so much. You're not doing any air-to-ground, or you shouldn't be doing any air-to-ground attacking, so you wouldn't want to put her in the Starfire, no matter how awesome she would look in it. Tier 8, there's actually a lot of good choices at Tier 8. Uh, and this is the start of, of explaining why I don't actually have Mary in anything but the uh, P-47 right now. Um, XP-72, excellent option for Mary if you want to put her in here. Lots of air-to-ground capabilities, good speed, good dive speed, all that jazz. F-2G, another great option for her. you got a huge bomb, 1,600 pounds, good air-to-ground rockets here. This is a more maneuverable type plane, but she's still going to be really effective in it, and it does have a good amount of speed. XP-58 has no bombs. Don't put her in here. XF-5U, probably don't want to put her in here just because you've only got the two rockets and there's really long reload time. And this is really more of a an air-to-air -air, uh, uh, plane than air-to-ground. But the F-82B, this is the reason why, not this plane specifically, but this plane in general is the reason why I don't have her in another plane. I want to try to build up the P-47B as much as possible. No reason to change her. And she can go in a plane like this that has 10 rockets and two bombs and reasonable reload time on it and great ability to dive down and, and um, get maximum speed. There's a lot of good American um, premium planes that she can bounce around into. So it doesn't matter that she's in a P-47B. I can put her in this. I can put her in a P-38L, which we'll take a look at in a second. So that's really awesome. Yeah, she could be in any, you know, she could be in the S uh, to an F-84F put her in that if you want to that's perfectly acceptable because she can still go in all those american premium planes i've just made my p47b that better um because i'm keeping her in it and arguably at tier six there's a lot more uh headhunters at tier six a lot more overpowered premium planes and things of that nature at tier six so having her be at tier six to counter or try to counter those planes could, um, in my opinion is a little bit more impactful than having her at tier 10 uh but she's going to be great in any of the planes I've already gone over. Um, F7F, XP75 to a lesser extent. F4U, the P47N, any of those planes she's going to be great in. P47B, obviously, F4U1. Um, XP54, no, because there's no ground target, no ground ability. XP50, probably not. There's only the two bombs. But, I mean, you could if you wanted to. P-38L and P-38J, she's going to do great in because both these planes have a, a, a great amount of air-to-ground capabilities. In fact, I've mentioned it before on live stream and maybe in one of my videos. I can flip a mining facility on my own in a P-38L. Those rockets are really strong. Um, bombs are standard bombs. But the rockets are much stronger than the P-38J's rockets that I don't even have on here right now. And so... Combine that with her Valkyrie's Wrath, and you can really do some crazy things with the P-38L. Tier 5, um, F-5F, kind of. <laughs> P-38F, for sure. F-4F, um, for sure. Um, XP-44, again, for sure. You're kind of not getting the full, the full range of her scope, because at the lower tiers, you've only got bombs or rockets rather than both. In fact, you've only got bombs on all these lower tier ones. She can fit the bill, but she's going to be more effective when you've got bombs and rockets able to be dropped. So again, I've kept her in the P-47B, but today's game we're going to take out a, a different plane and see what we can do in that, since I did recently post a video on the P-47B. All right, we are taking out the P-82B. Uh, why am I taking out this plane? Well, it's a premium plane, so I can put any darn American pilot I want into it. 
But on top of that, we've got a, a plethora of air to ground capabilities. Um, and I want to just do as much air to ground damage as I can utilizing Valkyrie's Wrath, utilizing that um, ability to dive down. Now, that being said, I'm over here near the command center, so we're going to attack the command center. I would have liked to go on for a mining facility, but. C'est la vie. Let's go ahead and get ourselves some reasonable altitude here. Don't need to be at the extreme altitude or anything crazy like that. And in fact, I'm going to try to pull over here to the side so that way some of my friendlies get uh, tagged rather than me. Let's go ahead and let's dive down though. Get our boost on. You can see the Valkyrie's Wrath uh, little symbol popped up. So these bombs are going to be doing double damage. Uh, it looks like it turned off right at the time I was about to damage that. So let's just do some air to ground damage here. I mean air to air damage, excuse me. We'll be fine here. go. I think just one rocket will flip the, um, we'll get this radar tower here. Um, let's see if we can't get this guy. There we go. I'm going to reload my rockets because I've only got three of them. Get rid of this guy. Melting, 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 melting. Swarm of bees, swarm of bees, swarm of bees. Unfortunately, I've used all my boost here. So let's go for this mining facility after I kill this 1056, maybe? Is it coming back? What are we doing? Ignoring 1056. Watching the map for the 1056. I want to get some altitude. Now, this is kind of tricky when you're going against the mining facilities simply because the mining facility has all that crazy going after my Corsair. It's got all that crazy anti-aircraft that really tears you up if you're high, at a higher altitude. It's kind of a kind of a tricky game to play. But we're going to see what we can do. Um, we've also got 30 seconds before our bombs are reloaded, so uh, we could easily take out a section of ground target here if we had our bombs, but we don't. So let's see if we can't get this XP-75 knocked out first. We actually have the same guns as the XP-75. We just have, you know, four extra. There we go. I guess what we want to do is take out this, uh, let's take out some bombers, shall we? Got our bombs back, but let's take care of these air-to-air -air targets first. That sounds like a swarm of bees as well, doesn't it? Buzz. Get him on target properly and I'll actually kill this guy. Unfortunate man, these heavy planes just keep coming inbound here. Can I save our... Nope, I can't. Top of that, I think I just screwed myself up. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Dang it, Carl. Oh, I did. I saw that I was going to get in front of the XP-75. I didn't realize he was as high up as he was. I saw on the map, but not on altitude. So, screwed that up. But was able to take out their bombers. Okay, I don't know what's going over at our mining facility. Let's just head to their mining facility. My bombs and rockets are back, so... Um, well, let's head on over there. Let's try not to use all of our, my, our boost. And catch up on... Catch up on our coffee intake. I'm trying to record all three of these videos in one day. Actually, I'm recording... Recorded the Charlotte video yesterday the SCUA video today, the Marina video today, and now the Mary video today. Shoot on a stick. Let's 
Good fire nine. What are you doing, buddy? You're never gonna see me. The command centers are under our control. Alrighty. Communication with the headquarters established. Yes, I know I can definitely outmaneuver a 1056. Right at the, the maximum threshold of my guns here. Wasn't planning on taking this sector, but we got here and we took it, so cool. Um, let's go ahead and get our altitude back so we can do a dive bomb really quick. Um, I don't really want to go for this guy, but I can't leave him just to rock it into my butt. It's not the kind of life I like to live. That's what you're into, hey. Who am I to judge? But that's not my cup of tea. All right, let's, uh, we need to get away from this guy. So let's just dive down. Got some Valkyrie's Wrath going on here. Boop. Missed a couple things there, but that's fine. We'll turn back around. Oh yeah, missed a lot of things. Oh man, I didn't realize I missed that too. I was wondering why uh, it wasn't looking as as good as it should have looked. This postal sucks. All right, stop shooting the ground. There's a fighter inbound. Victory is in sight. Keep it up. Oh, and I'm all out of boost, unfortunately. Can I flip back over quick enough? The answer is yes. Especially, luckily, he's going after this ground attacker. There's a heavy storm here. Unable unfortunately, to though, squall line. Do you copy? Unfortunately for him. All right, let's see if we can't get this heavy fighter. Who's way the heck up there? Shoot, we're failing miserably. All righty. Um, I need to head over there then. Oh my gosh, we are failing exorbitantly miserably. Well done. The plan We've got that. Ours. Can we get that? That yeah. Can we get that? We need to get that. If we can get that, we can actually pull this off. Yes. Okay. I think we've actually got this. Whew. Um, let's take care of some air to air. Um. Hello. Well, crap. My shots were not on target there. And I'm all at a boost. I might be dead here. Especially considering... Where's this guy going? You're not... Stop following me, jackass. Of course, if I actually, you know, fired my guns properly. What are my guns doing? He should be dead like three minutes ago. Okay, at first I thought that was like an issue with me, but that was clearly an issue with... Ow. The accuracy RNG of my guns. Phew. Didn't get a chance to even drop my last bomb drop there, but uh, had a pretty good battle, all things considered, and you can see what the bombs can really do. This plane, if I'm dropping my freaking bombs properly, <laughs> and my rockets, if I'm accurate, can flip a mining facility by itself with Mary as the pilot. Let's head back. All right, so in that particular battle, we got 14 uh, air kills, six ground kills. Man, we could have... This is Again, this is another plane that can get a Gabreski if I really wanted to push that. Captured three sectors. Um, I was kind of messing around a little bit, a little bit too much, obviously. Um, just trying to test out, you know, how the bombs work and show uh, dive bombing and things of that nature. 
and you have to what's really important is paying attention to the map paying attention to what's going on around you because when you're doing a dive bomb run or especially a rocket run um, you are you're completely vulnerable to the enemy so be mindful of that if you've if you learned anything from this video um, overall, we were lucky to, to overcome. I didn't realize they had an IL-20 as well. No wonder we were, um, you know, always always felt like we were a step behind. They had two ground attackers. I, I knew they had the NC-1070, but I didn't see that Mario was there. Both of them did relatively well that game. Um, but, again, you can see what Mary can do. And the great thing about her is, unlike Marina, um, and even to a lesser extent, unlike Charlotte, Mary has a lot of different options. We just went over all the different planes that she'll actually be not just viable in. Some of them she'll be absolutely outstanding in. Um, and, and so that gives her a lot of flexibility that, again, as strong as Marina is, Mary's got flexibility if it, depending on what plane you want to put her in. So I hope this video was helpful. Um, all three pilots are really good, in my opinion. Um, I tend to get the most out of Mary and Marina. But that probably means it's probably because I don't play Charlotte enough, and I and I suspect Charlotte is going to do me really well in the BVP 210, um, or if I want to change her to something like uh, the HG2 or something like that, I uh, shall do even better there too. So I hope you enjoyed this particular video. Hope you enjoyed this this quick series. Just trying to get out some videos so everybody can see what these pilots actually do. Um, if you enjoyed it, you know, give me a heads up in the comments down below or hop in my Discord or thumbs up or thumbs down if you hated it, uh, all that jazz. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.